Kentucky. There's more stuff to chew. I could be out a little bit. Just a little bit. I feel like... Let me get pulled out here at least. Before I really go on... Uh, I guess a tangent, maybe. Whether it be a tangent or not. Kind of have a topic in hand that I want to speak about a little bit. Topics. Just coming up with topics for new videos and stuff. I'm finding that to somehow be kind of a task sometimes. I should probably start to do that more often, like... And that's also a topic, too, I guess. Just when it comes to having goals and stuff, I mean, I talked about that. I talked about that in one video, right? Where I mentioned stuff about being goal-oriented and focusing on certain goals and creativity and stuff like that. There was a video that I talked about. And I guess, yeah, I mean, it's it's important to, to make those goals and to structure your life a certain way. Because I feel like uh, there's a lot of people out there that they don't, they don't really structure their life very much. Um, including myself. I was somebody that didn't ever structure my life. And it's still lackluster right now. I'm still trying to figure out better ways to structure it. Like, con continuing and... Let's just say being consistent with doing certain tasks either every day or every other day. Um, having schedules for things and making time for certain things that I need to make time for. This isn't a topic that I really wanted to talk about today, but I feel like this is something that could be something that other people struggle with. It could be other Christians that struggle with this. It could be just anybody who struggles with goals, structure in their life, and uh, maintaining that, you know what I mean? Being consistent with having these goals. And this guy's waiting on me. I guess I do have the right of way for these. I didn't think I did. I guess if you're the closest one going in, then I guess you would. But if I was there before somebody, I would probably make the turn. Even if it was illegal, I guess. I mean, I'm usually somebody that's like, if I'm there first, I tend to make the turn. But, you know, I might not be doing things properly that way. But back to what I was uh, originally saying before I went off topic. The goals. How does one set goals? Well, you get up and, or you set some the night prior, and you can, you can just write down whatever you, whatever comes to your head. Like, what is it? Like, try not to make them too big either. That's another thing. With like some of these videos, like let's say things that I've watched, people that I've watched and learned from over the course of the past year or two, three or four years. People talking, public speakers, other people like that. It's like set small goals. Don't set huge goals that, you know, not even somebody that's well established could probably even reach, you know what I mean? Like just a, you know, they had to set probably small goals when they were first starting out too. Just set little little goals for yourself and when you achieve those goals you'll start to feel better better and better when you're actually doing that on a continual basis um, and I'm not saying just go out there set like a thousand micro goals or something like that but set like three four five or six however you feel comfortable with however many you want to do things that you can possibly do in a day or in a week in a month or a year you know just kind of get yourself get the ball rolling if you get the ball rolling at least you're trying right because you're never going to know unless you do try and that's in regards to your spiritual growth and that's in regards to just growing as a person in general just growing it's figuring out like what it is you want to do, 
how it is you want to accomplish it, how do you want to tackle it. And for me, coming from a spiritual perspective, I'm somebody that wants to tackle becoming an unbaptized publisher, then becoming a baptized publisher, and possibly doing more in the ministry later on. But for now, those are the goals I'm trying to reach. And I'm pretty close to being a baptized publisher. I'm already going out and observing people in the ministry. I feel relatively comfortable talking about the truth already. Like, I've already done a lot of informal witnessing, whether it be here or in person. Like, I do stuff in person, too. I have given out stuff to people. Some of them seem like they might be kind of sort of interested. Some people not so much. But, you know what I mean? That's the way it's going to be. You know what I mean? You're always going to have that that kind of stuff. But, but yeah, it's just setting the goals in general, you know, just getting it done, just starting, taking the baby steps, whatever steps you got to take, take them, you know, and don't let anybody try to get in your way either. There's going to be a lot of people out there that try to get in your way. And if you're somebody that's spiritual, there's going to be certain influences in your life that are going to try to hinder you, and you'll know it. You'll know where it's coming from, and you'll see it. Um, I'm not going to use any real derogatory or heavy terms here. I don't like using a lot of heavy terms, but I do use heavy terms a lot. Because I know that once you start mentioning mentioning stuff about the spirit realm and uh, spirits and all that kind of stuff, people start to get a little bit wishy-washy or they get, uh, I don't know. It's a, it's, let's say it's frightening. Like some, some people are a little frightened by that kind of stuff. Um, and rightfully so. Rightfully so. If you're somebody that's outside the truth and you're somebody that doesn't believe in that stuff, and if you're, even if you do, you know, that stuff can be uneasy, you know, but if you have the truth in your heart, you're following God's standards, and if you have Him with you by your side, there's nothing to be afraid of, there is nothing to be afraid of when it comes to that, when you have the true God on your side, when it comes to doing that kind of stuff, you have His angels, His army of angels, you have him backing you up. So you don't have to worry about anything. Not to mention the brothers and sisters that you, you know, organize with, you worship with. And they're always encouraging you and they're always helping you too. So you don't have to worry. You know what I mean? And it's pointless to worry about that kind of stuff anyway. Because it's something that's outside of your control. When it comes to the worry of that kind of stuff, I would say, why? Why? You know what I mean? There's no point. No point in even worrying about what it is that they do, even their symbols, even the stuff that they do. You know what I mean? How they influence people. And all that stuff. It's, it's okay to know that information. It's good to know the information so that you can avoid certain tra traps. That is good. But don't obsess over that. And there are people that do a lot of that. Like truthers, conspiracy theorists and stuff like that, they tend to obsess over a lot of that stuff. And, like, way too much. You know, they get into it, they dive so far in, they don't even know that they could possibly be influenced by that stuff still while doing that. You know, just because they're looking into it too much. And do you think that he really likes it whenever people are doing that all the time? No. No. No, obviously not. Believe me, he's going to do anything in his power to uh, possibly make them even look bad and distort things and whatever, you know what I mean? So if you really watch out. So I'm at my destination right here. I am at...